As much as 90% of goods that are traded around the world are transported by sea, since it offers the most cost-efficient way of moving items across great distances. To fulfill the worldwide massive demand for consumer goods, companies are building bigger and bigger ships that dwarf those of the past. Let's begin today's video with 15 of the most gigantic transport ships in the world. Number 15. MV Barzan First set sail in 2015, the MV Barzan was the first of a planned fleet of six identical ships for the United Arab Shipping Company and was built in South Korea by Hyundai Heavy Industries. One of the biggest innovations with the design was that it would be far more economical with the amount of fuel that it burns, and it was the first container ship to have a gas-ready class notation. According to the designers, it has the lowest carbon emissions per container of any ship, and its energy efficient design index is almost 50% less than the limit that's been set by the International Maritime Organization for all vessels by 2025. The MV Barzan measures 1,300 feet, or 400 meters long, and 192 feet, or 58.6 meters wide. It has 10 decks in total and has a dead weight of 199,000 tons, requiring a full time crew of 35 people. The vessel is able to carry up to 18,820 foot equivalent units and has been in almost continuous operation since it completed its maiden voyage. In 2015, it was placed on the Asia to Europe container service route, which sees it serves ports across China and Asia, such as Qingdao, Yantian, and Singapore, and foreign Europe, London Gateway, Hamburg, Rotterdam, and Zeebrugge. Number 14. MSC Diana Built in 2016 and sailing under a Liberian flag, the MSC Diana is operated by the Mediterranean Shipping Company that's based in Switzerland. At the time of its launch, it was in the running for being the world's largest container ship, but while it has since been bumped down the rankings, it's still an important vessel for the company, serving routes throughout Asia, Europe, and Africa. It's 1,312 feet or 399.9 meters long, 193 feet or 58.8 meters wide, and has a gross tonnage of 194,000 tons, a measure that indicates the ship's overall internal volume. It's rated to carry up to 19,420 foot equivalent units and is particularly useful at smaller ports as it's under the 400 meter length mark, which means it's able to dock in places that are inaccessible for larger vessels. Often seen traversing the Suez Canal, MSC Diana tends to travel at around 18 knots, and its main routes are between Singapore and China in Asia and Spain in Europe. Number 13. Costco Shipping, Taurus. The Taurus is a container ship that's operated by Costco Shipping, originally delivered in January of 2018. After being built by the Shanghai Waigaochao Shipbuilding, it was the first of 11 Constellation class vessels. It's 1,312 feet or 399.8 meters long and 193 feet or 58.7 meters wide, which gives it enough space on board for it to theoretically carry up to 20,119 20-foot equivalent units. When the Constellation-class ships were first ordered, the plan was for them to become the workhorse of the Costco fleet. But after the company merged with China Shipping Container Lines in 2016, which was already building an even larger class of container ship, the Constellation class became destined for secondary routes instead. They have proved to be extremely reliable, and Taurus has spent most of its time on routes between the main ports of China and northern European ports, particularly in the Netherlands. Number 12. MOL Triumph Completed by Samsung Heavy Industries in Goje, South Korea in 2017, the MOL Triumph was custom-built for Mitsui OSK lines. It was christened in a ceremony of March that year, and it was the first of five that were built to similar specs. The container vessel is 1,312 feet or 400 meters long, and 193 feet or 58.8 meters wide. It has an official deadweight tonnage of about 192,600, and this translates to a theoretical capacity of up to 20,170 20-foot equivalent units. With a vessel this size, every design decision has consequences on how much it costs to operate. So with that in mind, the Triumph was fitted with a high-efficiency rudder and propeller, and it was even coated with low-friction underwater paint to reduce the overall water resistance. It's powered by a huge MAN BMW G95 ME engine, which has a maximum power output of more than 110,000 horsepower. And this allows the vessel to maintain a service speed of 22 knots, with a top speed of 24 knots. Ever since the Triumph entered operation, it's been on an Asia to Europe trade route and regularly stops at ports in Asia such as Qingdao, Shanghai, and Singapore, as well as ones in Europe like Southampton, Hamburg, and Louvre. 
number 11, MOL Truth. The MOL Truth was another of the container ships built for Mitsui OSK lines by the Samsung Heavy Industry Shipyard in Goje, South Korea. And while it was based on the same designs, engineers perfected the construction over the first few vessels in a way that meant this one has a slightly higher overall capacity. Measuring 1,312 feet or 400 meters long and 193 feet or 58.8 meters wide, it has an official gross tonnage figure of 194,864, which means the rated theoretical capacity of the vessel is 20,182 TEUs. Despite sailing with the Panama flag, the truth isn't responsible for sailing routes across such long distances as other ships of its class, and instead is usually transporting cargo between Asian ports, mainly China to Hong Kong and Singapore. Although it does sometimes make the journey through the Suez Canal to Europe when demand for shipping capacity on those routes increases. Number 10. Maersk Madrid when it launched in 2017, the Maersk Madrid was the largest container vessel in the world, but this is a record it would only hold on to for a short period of time. It was the first of the new second-generation Maersk Triple E class vessels, which another 10 were constructed, and was the second ship with a capacity of more than 20,000 20-foot equivalent units after the MOL Triumph to set sail. Measuring 1,309 feet or 399 meters long and 192 feet or 58.6 meters wide, the Madrid and the other Triple E-class ships are too wide to pass through the Panama Canal, so aren't used to carry cargo to the United States, but can easily sail along the Suez Canal, so it's almost always on a route between Asia and Europe. It has a deadweight tonnage of 196,000 and a theoretical capacity of 20,568 20-foot equivalent units and with the twin man engines that can produce 39,000 horsepower each and has a cruising speed of 16 knots and a top speed of about 23. The Madrid cost an estimated $185 million to build and was revolutionary at the time. Normally, it would be more efficient to have one larger engine, but the hull instead has twin skeg design, so the use of two engines and two propellers results in a better distribution of pressure and a greater propeller efficiency. This design also allows the engines to be lower and further back, which is one way the engineers found to increase the amount of cargo the vessel can carry. Number 9. CMA CGM Antoine de Saint-Exupéry Christened after the famous French author and aviator, the Antoine de Saint-Exupéry is a large container vessel that's operated by CMA CGM, which is the third largest shipping company in the world and is based in France. It was first built in 2015 along with three sister ships and was built by the Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction Shipyard in the Philippines. After completing sea trials, it was delivered to CMA CGM in early 2018 and has been serving routes between Asia and Europe ever since. The ship is 1,312 feet and 4 inches or 400 meters long and 193 feet 7 inches or 59 meters wide across the beam. It has a draft of just over 52 feet or 16 meters and is powered by a single gas and diesel X92 engine. This has a maximum power output of 98,600 horsepower and gives the vessel a typical cruise speed of around 21 knots. With a dead weight measurement of 199,800 tons, the vessel has a theoretical capacity of 20,954 20-foot equivalent units. For several years, this was the largest type of ship in the company's fleet, but with the shipping industry becoming increasingly competitive, CMA CGM introduced some that were even larger in 2020, and ones of this design are now being used to provide excess capacity on routes that are starting to become busier than usual. Number 8. Costco Shipping Universe in 2018, Costco Shipping Lines introduced the new Universe class of container ship, with the first of the six that were built being called the Universe 2. All were built at the Shanghai Waigaochao Shipbuilding Company at the Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai, China, and were ordered by China Shipping Container Lines. This company merged with Costco in 2016, however, so the ships that were on order were also transferred over to the new conglomerate. Measuring 1,312 feet or 399.9 meters long and 192 feet or 58.6 meters across, the universe has a gross tonnage of 215,000 tons, which translates into a capacity of about 21,237 20-foot equivalent units. This means that the universe-class vessels were just the second design to have a capacity of more than 20,000 TEUs and represented a significant increase in how much can be carried by one ship, and therefore the profitability of each voyage. 
When they launched, each of the Universe-class ships was also the largest to have been ever built in China, a record that has since been broken. As with most supersized container ships, the Universe is on an almost constant route between Asia and Europe because of the size limitations in the Panama Canal that prevent it from serving the US, and count Shanghai and Antwerp as its main ports of call. Number 7. OOCL Hong Kong when it was delivered in 2017, the OOCL Hong Kong smashed the record for the largest container ship ever built, but of course, this record has since been broken several times again. It was constructed by Samsung Heavy Industries in Goje, South Korea, for the Orient Overseas Container Line, which was the first of the new G-Class of which five others were also built. Split up into 24 container bays, and with the ability to load containers 23 wide on deck and 21 wide below deck, the $158 million vessel took a new approach to increasing overall capacity and became the first to be able to carry more than 21,000 20-foot equivalent units with a theoretical maximum of 21,413. What's impressive about this is that the vessels are around the same size as others with a lower capacity with a length of 1,312 feet or 399 meters and a width of 193 feet or about 58 meters. The OOCL Hong Kong and its sister ships is powered by an inline two-stroke 11-cylinder diesel and turbo engine that can produce up to 83,000 horsepower. This gives it a top speed of 21 knots, although the ship usually keeps to a cruising speed of about 14 and a half knots. They sail a conventional loop between Asia and Europe, which they complete once every 77 days, and with 10 35-ton electrically driven mooring winches on deck, along with four generator sets for its onboard machinery, every effort has been made to reduce the turnaround time whenever it's in port. Number 6. CMA CGM Jacques Sade the current flagship of the CMA CGM fleet, the Jacques Sade, was the first of nine ships in its class that not only increased the volume that could be transported, but also heralded a greener and new fuel-efficient way of doing so. When it entered commercial operation in September of 2020, it became the largest ship worldwide to be powered by liquefied natural gas, something that significantly reduces the emissions that are released, particularly in regards to how much sulfur is produced. Costing just over $100 million each, all nine are now in operation despite extensive delays that occur due to difficulties with the technology at this scale and with the construction limitations during the pandemic. The ship measures 1,312 feet or about 400 meters long, is 200 feet and 1 inch or 61.3 meters wide, and is 256 feet or 78 meters tall. It has a fuel tank capacity of about 660,000 cubic feet, or 18,600 cubic meters, which is stored at a temperature of negative 258 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 161 degrees Celsius, and is more than enough to complete the almost 30,000 mile, or 44,000 kilometer round trip between Asia and Northern Europe. Number 5. MSC Mina Built in 2019, the Mina is a large container vessel that was built for the Mediterranean Shipping Company by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in South Korea. It was one of 10 of a new class of vessel that were made to order, and while the initial intent was for them to have a capacity in excess of 22,000 20-foot equivalent units, they managed to far exceed that with a capacity of 23,656 TEUs. Measuring 1,312 feet or about 400 meters long and just over 200 feet or 61 meters across the beam, it has a draft of 54 feet or 16 and a half meters and a depth of 109 feet or 33 meters. It's powered by a manned diesel turbo 11 G95 MEC engine, which gives it an average cruising speed of between 21 and 22 knots. It was specifically built to be rated so it can carry hazardous materials, but with increased demand for cargo transport in the past few years, it's mainly been working on routes between Asia and Europe. When this increased activity begins to fall back, though, the Mina has been embarked to transport delicate cargo between destinations across Asia. Number 4. MSC Gulsun The MSC Gulsun was the first of the new Gulsun class of container ships that were built for the Mediterranean Shipping Company in 2019 by the Samsung Heavy Industries Shipyard in South Korea. Measuring 1,312 feet or about 399.9 meters long, 201 feet or 61.5 meters across the beam, and a depth of about 108 feet or 33.2 meters, it's powered by a manned diesel turbo engine and has a gross tonnage of 232,618. 
that gives it a capacity of 23,736 20-foot equivalent units, which at the time of its launch in 2019 made it the largest container ship in the world. It's rare that vessels truly manage to achieve these figures in real-life applications, though, and it set the record by departing from the port of Tanjun, Pelopas, with 19,574 TEUs in that year. One of the ways the builders were able to fit more containers on board was by using a cargo system that was designed by McGregor International AB, and this allowed them to be stacked in rows of 24 across, and it's now used as one of the highest capacity vessels along the Asia to Europe route. Number 3. HMM Oslo The HMM Oslo was the first of the new Algeciras class container vessels that were built for HMM Company Limited, but because the company placed the order with two separate shipyards, it has a slightly lower capacity than the flagship of the class. Nevertheless, when it launched in May of 2020, it became the second largest container ship in the world and remains in the top three. It's one of five identical ships that were constructed by Samsung Heavy Industries in South Korea and measures 1,312 feet or 400 meters long and 201 feet or 61 and a half meters across and has a draft of 54 feet or 16 and a half meters. It's powered by a manned diesel and turbo engine and has a gross tonnage of 232,311, which translates into an estimated total capacity of 23,792 20-foot equivalent units. Flying under the Panamanian flag, it too serves routes between China and Europe, but is comparatively slow at doing so, with an average speed of around 15 knots. It's said by the owners, however, to be far more competitively priced for a container than most alternatives, so it's ideal for transporting non-perishable goods and those that don't need to be delivered quickly. Number 2. HMM Alhaciras Built by Daewoo Shipping and Marine Engineering in South Korea in 2019 for HM Company Limited, the Alhaciras is the flagship of the company's Alhaciras class vessels and first entered service in April of 2020. In total, seven ships were built to the same specification as this, and they were, for a year, the largest container ships in the world. Despite having been overtaken, they remain the second largest design and form a crucial part of the company's ability to transport cargo between key regions. Alhaciras is 1,312 feet or 399 meters long, 200 feet or 61 meters wide across the beam, and has a draft of 54 feet or 16 and a half meters. It's also powered by a manned diesel and turbo engine and has a gross tonnage of 232,311. This has led it to having a theoretical maximum capacity of 23,964 20-foot equivalent units, which is almost 20% more than the largest container ships being built just five years earlier. With all seven of these vessels now serving routes across Asia and through Africa to Europe, they significantly increased the total volume that the company is able to carry and led to them earning in excess of six billion US dollars per year. Number one, Ever Ace. In March of 2021, the Ever Given, which is a 20,000 TEU capacity container vessel made world headlines because it had become stuck in the Suez Canal and in the process blocked off one of the most important shipping routes on the planet it virtually made the ship and the company that owns it, Evergreen, household names. But those who worked in the industry were more nervous about what might happen next. That's because the company was already constructing a new class of super container ship called the Evergreen A-Class, which was substantially bigger than the Ever Given, and with it planned for a route that would regularly see it travel through the Suez Canal. Could the incident in 2021 be just the beginning? The first of this new class of vessel, the Ever Ace, was delivered in July of 2021, and four have so far been completed. They were built by Samsung Heavy Industries in South Korea and have smashed the record for what's possible with a container ship. The Ever Ace is the flagship and measures 1,312 feet and 4 inches, or 400 meters long, 202 feet or 61 and a half meters wide, and has a draft of 55 feet 9 inches, or 17 meters all of which makes it wider and deeper than the Ever Given that got stuck. It's powered by a WinGD 92B11 cylinder engine that has a maximum output of 78,584 horsepower and set the record for the most containers carried by a ship in August of 2021, when it was loaded with 21,710 TEUs. With a cruising speed of a respectable 22.6 knots and flying under the flag of Panama, it serves the China-Europe Mediterranean service, with regular ports on its route including Qingdao, Shanghai, Tanjung Pelopas, Colombo, Felixstowe, Hamburg, and Rotterdam. 
Demand for cargo companies to keep increasing their capacity continues, so the 11 ships like the Ever Ace surely won't be the end of the push to build bigger ships. With even larger designs already under construction, it's expected that the Ever Ace will lose its crown by 2023, and you can only imagine how large container vessels will be in the latter half of this decade. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.